was very significant, and its leadership was as well. And Fred Hampton was a, not only an up-and-coming leader, but a, a very charismatic and dynamic leader. And the Panthers uh, had a 10-point program. That program uh, covered the waterfront uh, with, with all sorts of revolutionary and socialistic programs. It was very much an anti-imperialist organization, uh, fought against the war in Vietnam, said people should not go to Vietnam, uh, opposed mass incarceration before there actually was that term, uh, and uh, also was very strong in setting up and fighting for coalitions between black uh, Hispanic or, or uh, like the Young Lords and other organizations, uh, revolutionary and radical organizations. And this is another reason why Hoover feared uh, the Panthers so much, because they were bringing together all sorts of different radical and revolutionary groups, war, uh, groups against the war in Vietnam. Uh, and this was very threatening to the government at that time. And they targeted under the COINTELPRO program, which was focused to destroy the Black Panther Party uh, on Fred Hampton and the Black Panthers. It took us 13 years to uncover that it was COINTELPRO, a program whose objective was disrupt, destroy, and neutralize the Panthers, and specifically prevent the rise of a Black Messiah like Fred Hampton, who could unify and electrify the masses. It was this FBI program that led to the passing of the floor plan and the 90 shots and Fred Hampton executed in his bed at 2.30 at in the morning on December 4th.